food. You know, one of the big things about Border to Border has always been this theory of living off the land. You know, not only eating what you kill, but eating what you catch, and also what you can forage. And foraging is a major part, not only of modern survival, but also of historic stuff. I mean, everybody with berries and nuts, and we've always done that on Border to Border, whether it was picking wild huckleberries or chanterelle mushrooms or puff balls and you know, making different dishes out of those. And New Zealand is a treasure trove of that kind of activity. I mean, there's so much stuff down here, whether it's the saltwater stuff, such as abalone and lobster, or the freshwater crawfish, or picking wild thyme in fields, or they've also got these, I don't know how to describe them. They're like a giant maggot. There's some kind of termite that lives in rotten trees down here. And evidently you can find them, cut them out of a tree. The locals either eat them raw or in some cases, cook them up in a little bit of butter. I'm looking forward to experiencing all those things in my time in New Zealand. Yeah, I don't know if it's different or not. It's mainly wild thyme though, he says. It's pretty cool. A certain time that it's better. Well, the tips of some of them are not. So when much. is the time right? Okay. That's cool. It's a bunch of wild thyme going out through here. Just stop and pick some and go good with meals. We'll just bring some of this with us. Smell it smells just like regular store bought thyme. That's cool. That's awesome. Very cool. Nice little bouquet. <laughs> Look at those, those are so, to throw them back out there. That is so different than our crawdads. So much oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Total uh, New Zealand technique to catch crawdads down here. They just use a stick, monofilament, chunk of meat on it. Crawdads, you can tell they're similar to ours. Much more barnacly and also just got, just kind of almost hairs and barbs all over their pinchers. Pretty cool, there's a ton of them in here. You just come down here and throw this in here. A little hidden spot in New Zealand. Pretty cool. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, Stick that on there, Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. What I lost. All because of the net. <laughs> Oh my god, there's some, there's, there's all over right in this hole. Woo! There's crawdads all over this place. This is amazing. Middle of the day. Crawdads everywhere. Oh yeah. So what's the secret sauce here? Is it like pound or bowl? Turn around! There. Just toss them up the bank, I'll get them. You know, I would prefer a lighter stick, though, so I could feel the bite more. This stick's a little bit heavy. It feels like about a 10 weight versus a, uh, kind of looking for a two weight on this. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Think about it. Putting this on a fly rod? Yeah. Try it? Yep. Yeah. It's like almost full. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. New Zealand crayfish. This is gonna go on the bobby tonight. Grab that one too. Double. Nice. All right. Get down there. We are the crawdad kings of New Zealand. How many think we got? I don't know. We have got a pile. We girls, we've probably got more than we can eat tonight. So I say we go trout fishing. We got one. We got one trap up here. We can go pull and check that. 
Oh, got it. Is that the trap? <laughs>